With that background, let's welcome in Michael Cutler, a former INS officer who testified before the 9-11 Commission. I got to know him during my days in Congress post 9-11, and he is Skyping in this morning from New York. Michael, we appreciate your time. And always, the, always a pleasure to join you, J.D. Thank you for having me. And uh, something else I think a lot of folks welcome is the, the headline in today's Washington Times, federal judge rules Obama amnesty order unconstitutional power grab. Now, it doesn't immediately overturn the action, but as you see it on the Washington Times website, this has the potential to really change things. It does, and you know, but but the judge is right. I mean, of course, you know that the administration will probably take this all the way to the Supreme Court, and of course, meanwhile, every day that the nonsense continues, more illegal aliens pour into the United States, drawn here in part by the promises and, and of the administration and failures to act to enforce the law. But you know, this notion of I called it actually prosecutorial deception, that which Obama calls prosecutorial uh, discretion. You can't give millions of people the authority to remain in the country when there's no legal justification for it. It's one thing on a case-by-case -case basis to tell a family of a child that was hit by a car, God forbid, look, we don't expect you to go home, your child is in the hospital, or they're visiting a relative who falls ill and they want to stay to care for the family member. We've always allowed that. As an agent, we always adjudicated those applications to provide that kind of compassionate flexibility you know we're not uh, mean folks but the idea that we're going to take millions of people and run them through the process give them employment authorization and you know fox news just reported about the widening gap between american middle uh, white wages and american minority wages is astonishing we are undermining working americans we are undermining that cruz said what he said he wants a 500% increase in H-1B visas, which is part of what Obama wants also. Well, you it see the dynamic on the Hill, as you know, Michael, and this goes back sure. to my days in Congress because Silicon Valley and the Internet has become the new, uh, the new source not only of a booming, uh, what portions of our economy do boom, but quite frankly, a source. Now, I supported that yeah. 10 years ago when we had... Uh, almost statistically full employment, but you cannot make that case now. Yet both parties are trying to do it on H-1Bs. Oh, absolutely. You know, I had the distinct privilege of being on a panel discussion in Florida when I, I missed seeing you and you were unfortunately uh, not up to, to speed. You, were, you have fallen sick. I had the but, flu. Yeah, it was tough. I don't want you to catch it, but go ahead. No, well, at least over this connection, hopefully I won't. Yeah. But uh, Senator Sessions made that exact point. He said, you know, Silicon Valley just laid off 18,000 Americans. And meanwhile, Silicon Valley is talking about bringing in hundreds of thousands of new foreign workers. Why in the world would you want to bring in foreign workers when we can't get enough jobs for Americans? You know, we don't need to create the jobs as much as we need to liberate the jobs by effective immigration law enforcement. Law enforcement is one thing, but... Coming up in the next portion of our discussion, we're going to talk about when the law is used in another way. Not only H-1B uh, visas, but allowing people into the country in terms of political asylum. Other nations have done it. We continue to do it here in the United States. When we come back with Michael Cutler, we will share some concerning numbers about the number, the number of Middle Easterners who are granted political asylum or are about to be granted political asylum here in the United States. The legal way, if you will, to create yet more difficulties with immigration. We'll have more with Michael Cutler as we talk about this. A busy morning still to come later. Mideast uh, Mid -East expert Robert Rabiel on what's going on uh, in Pakistan and elsewhere, but back with Michael Cutler as we continue here on America's Forum.